This guy came out probably less than 20 yards in front of me, stopped, looked at me, stayed there long enough for me to peel my glove back, click the safety and pull it up real slow and just take him out. <laughs> Jake, let's see you go, buddy. Everybody is here at the big house and Craig goes down and uh, a buck comes into view and he gets his buck. <laughs> so I filmed a little bit of it. I didn't film the butchering process because it's a little bit cold, chilly out there for the cameraman. And uh, Craig is up to his elbows and in deer and so he couldn't do it either. So <laughs> we'll show you the before and after. just happened, Craig? You shot myself a nice buck. Oh yeah, we're in the big blind. We sat down for 15 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about lucky. Easy peasy. Shot him right. Right there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Craig. <laughs> Nicest buck yet. On the new property. On the new property. In my fence line. sitting on a little milk crate right there and what we were really doing is we were just we were planning on hiking through but we thought we'd hang out in there and just kind of let it get quiet for a while and just kind of relax and well we may as well just kind of sit and watch both sides of this thing and see if there's a you know anything running around right here and I'm sitting there I'm looking off into here because that's where we usually see him and he just Right here, and I just see his right head, here. right here, and I see, I see his head come past me. I'm like, holy crap! That's awesome. So I'm like, I'm just like, click the safety. He was, he was looking at me. Man, what? How much do you think this thing weighs? 150, 200? I'd say, yeah, 200. 200. 
Maybe over 200. It's kind of way over 200. He's big. I weigh 170 pounds. So. Yeah, and he's so thick. Okay. Two, three, go. Any blood on you? No, I'm good. <laughs> well. <laughs> oh man. What? One a season? Well, everybody gets Two. one tag usually. I think you can also get a doe tag in some areas, not everywhere though. The idea behind shooting just bucks, you understand the idea, right? One buck can impregnate 10 does. Okay. But you shoot a doe, that's like, you know, conceivably Generation. generations of deer that'll be here. So there's only a handful of places where you shoot a doe but the for meat. With the tag, you can kill doe too. That's right. Abundance, yeah, you saw does all over the place. So. And does, actually, the meat might be a little better. Because they're not all roided out from the rut, because they start getting so much adrenaline in them that their necks puff out almost twice the size as they normally do, and they're just, oh, I need to kill something and mate. Yeah. <laughs> you call that testosterone going? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's get to that. Boy, you got knees, you got ripped. It's not my knees, it's my face up cold. Yeah. I had, just, I think breathing in and out. Is when I, when I shot that thing, I had ice all the way down my beard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go inside. It's freezing. Okay. Want me to turn them over all the way? Okay, let's go see how far they've gotten. I just put Wyatt down to sleep, so. My fault, I didn't tell anybody not to. Packed it with snow, gutted it. Got them all cleaned out real good. Got most of the blood soaked up with the first round of snow, then I wiped it all out with paper towels and I put one more round of snow in there for a little bit to cool it down. Okay. He's gonna be frozen in a Interesting very, position. Seductive yeah. position. Well, I wasn't gonna say that, <laughs> but <laughs> very, very wide position. <laughs> Are you having fun? Oh, I'm having so much fun. <laughs> This is so great. Uh, and what a blessing. Uh, An unbelievable blessing. Yeah, and that's a big deer. There's a lot I of mean, meat on that. Earlier sighting in the rifle yesterday, I just, I couldn't shoot it. Like I just, I mean, I could stay maybe within like, maybe 10 inches at 100 yards, which is not a good grouping. I was just too shaky, too nervous. So I had my Uncle Monty sighted in for me after I finished thinking I had it right. and. We did a couple more adjustments and, and I was happy with it. So I just didn't want to be able to blame the rifle if I missed or something like that. Yeah. I just wanted to be able to have it all me. And man, God smiled on me this morning. This guy came out probably less than 20 yards in front of me, stopped, looked at me, stayed there long enough for me to peel my glove back, click the safety and pull it up real slow and just take him out <laughs> hit him straight through the heart his heart was almost cut in half holy cow nicely done oh in here yeah. hey look at the chickens look at their setup <laughs> hey girls oh nice nice Got it hung up, let everybody come and see it, and then maybe tomorrow we'll Skin it. do the skinning and butchering and stuff like that, because yeah, it's plenty It's plenty cold in here to let it hang overnight.
Yeah, he uh, right in the sweet spot. he took off running, and then he dropped and and probably died right then and there. Oh, well, that's that's, that's faster than a lot of other ones can be. Some people track them for two and a half hours and they're still not dead. Oh, that's pitiful. Now, if you get him in the gut, you know he'll die, but not for a good long while. Well, it was a very good day today. I have a hard time believing it'll be better tomorrow, but I'm hoping. Oh, it will. <laughs> we'll see you guys in the next video. All right. Good night. Good job, baby.